Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and boy do I ever have one epic story for you guys today. <laughs> this this is crazy. It's like one of those things that you probably thought would never happen, but it happened. So this morning I got up about 6.30, which is about usually when I get out of bed and got up, made a cup of coffee and was sitting in the recliner watching a little bit of YouTube, checking my analytics and just doing my morning thing i get up early in the morning before everybody else and that's just kind of what i do and at 7 a.m i get this text message it says i think dusty has some buffalo out on the road <laughs> and as you can see in the picture there's a road and it's covered in buffalo i'm sorry covered in bison technically they're bison slang for bison is buffalo uh, so you guys know my brother-in-law dusty uh has a youtube channel called cross timbers bison and him and his wife have quite a few bison and they are about two miles away on the property where my mother and father-in-law live and <laughs> the guy that bails our hay texted me this morning and said hey the buffalo are out uh so the problem was Dusty and Marissa have, you know, they have the cabins and they're just 10 or 15 miles away, but they still have their home in Oklahoma City. And they had gone up there for a couple days to mow the yard and take care of things and do a couple things up there. So they left on Friday night. Today, this is being filmed on Saturday. So Saturday morning at 7 a.m., all of their buffalo, all their bison are out in the road. And they are an hour and a half away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time to wake up and go to work right so my wife and i get out of oh well she gets out of bed she gets up and we go over and my mother-in-law father-in-law were, were already out on the side by sides and the buffalo were nowhere to be found so we come out they live on a county road it's a paved county road and the buffalo were nowhere to be found like you couldn't see them anywhere they sh the picture that my friend sent us was you could see their driveway it was right by close to their house well within 20 minutes we get over there they are gone like gone So as you can see, we try. I tried to get a few clips because I thought this is going to be one crazy story that 300,000 people aren't going to believe. And we just didn't know what to do at first because you got all these bison out. They're pretty calm. They're pretty tame. But you've got cars both directions. We got traffic stopped. And we're out there in the road on two, you know, side-by-side -side uh, UTVs. And, you know, we, we had two options. They literally, okay, let me back up. So where you see them in the road is nowhere close to my in-laws property they were about a mile down the road they're about a mile east of their driveway where they came from so i had to call one of the neighbors there i know the guy that lives close and i said hey do you have some working pins so he said yep yep we can we can run them down this lane there's a you know, old county road with fences on both sides we run them down there get them pinned up 
and all as well because there was just no way we were going to be able to push them back down the road a mile there were too many other properties that they could have gone into people that didn't have fences and things so we get them pit up in this lot and we're like okay perfect we can just go get a truck and a trailer load them up haul them home no big deal that would give dusty plenty of time to get down here to help and uh yeah all, you know no big deal right so about an hour after we locked them up in that corral my father-in-law decides to drive back over there and make sure everything was okay well so the way they had gotten out we figured out how that how the bison got out originally and dusty's bull his name is uh dunbar the guy likes to destroy gates so they've got all their gates or orange tubing gates and this guy you know he's well over a thousand pounds he gets up there with his horns and just literally just rips the gate apart he'll rip them off the hinges tick usually he breaks the hinges well that's what he had done early early this morning before daylight he got in there used his horns and just ripped that gate completely off the hinges he'll break hinges he'll break gates it's just they're gonna have to beef up what they're doing a little bit more but he'd got he had busted a gate and got out well we had locked them back up in that corral as you saw my father-in-law went to check on them and they were nowhere to be found in the corral Dunbar had taken his horns and just ripped a gate off the hinge again. Luckily, they were still in the pasture. So we took both ATVs back over there, and this is what happened. Well, luckily, they didn't go too far from the corral, so that's where we put them up this morning. And they just wanted to come up here to the shade tree. I can't blame them. That's the smell of victory. Huh. <laughs> Got lucky, didn't we? <laughs> she was going through that fence. She wasn't turning. Dunbar, you need to go in. Yeah, I'll get back here behind this gate so I can slam it shut. Yeah, well, there ain't no.
give them a second? Well, we got about half of them in one trailer. We're gonna put the other half in the other trailer because we don't want them, you know, if you put too many of them in there together, we're afraid one of them will get horned and get gored. We don't want anybody to get hurt. We're not trying to get any bison injured, but it's pretty intense. These are big animals with a lot of power and they're, they're not cattle, they're not goats, they're not sheep. They're a freaking big, mean, strong animal when they're cooped up. So trying to be careful with them, give them a little bit of time to de-stress. I'm gonna back the other trailer up and try to get the other half in here. So as you can see, we had quite the adventure this morning. I mean, spread out over about half the day actually. Um, but it just, it all worked out and, and I was real hesitant about posting anything. I called, I talked to Dusty in person. I was like, hey, if you don't want me to post anything about your bison getting out, no big deal. We won't, you know, I shot some video. We won't use it, we won't show it. But I talked to Dusty and I said, hey, everything worked out good. Every, nobody got hurt, nothing got hit by a car. Nobody's cars were damaged, nobody, you know, it was chaos, but you know, sometimes it's just, uh, it's just how it goes. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of businesses spend a lot of money spending, sending their employees to like team building, you know, exercises and team building workshops and <laughs> farm life will do that to you because it took three households plus another guy that we called to come help to wrangle all of these bison and get them back up and farm animals tend to not do what you want them to do. I don't know if she qualifies as a farm animal though. She just wants some attention, don't you, Bella? She's sitting there like a prisoner trying to get out. But anyways, it all worked out in the end. It was crazy, it was a mess, um, it was stressful, but hmm. So if you're not familiar with Dusty's Bison Herd, you can find them on YouTube and Facebook and all that at Cross Timbers Bison. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, crazy chaotic mess but it all worked out in the end and you know that's that's what's awesome about having so much family here close is you know we we all we all trust each other and we all know each other we all know each other's animals we all know each other's property and something like that happens you know we're not going to hesitate to go help somebody out whether it's family or friends or whatever but it's just it's awesome having so many people close by that we can depend on that we can trust because i know if those were my animals that got out which i'm kind of glad i don't have bison now because i've never got in the pen with one of my goats or alpacas and thought that animal right there could possibly kill me 
I thought that a couple of times with those bison today. But I know if something happened, I've got plenty of people that I could depend on to call and they would be there in a heartbeat. And that's just kind of just kind of how it is in the country. That's the way we are. I don't feel like it's that way in big cities. It's not that way in a lot of suburbs. There's a lot of friends that I've got, a lot of people that I know around the country. They're stuck somewhere. They're happy where they're at. But if something really bad happened, they don't have anybody that they can just depend on to be there in a minute's notice and uh, that's what's great about small town america that's what's awesome about rural america i know our country's going through some weird stuff right now but i promise you rural america is still a good solid christian based group of people that will come together and work together and get through whatever we need to get through it's not it's just not like the big cities but anyways Man, nah, that's enough of that. But crazy, crazy day. I told you guys when I started this story, we had a crazy adventure for you. And uh, it all worked out in the end. Chaotic mess, all wrapped up. Nobody got hurt. Animals are all back in, all put back up safe and sound. And maybe <sighs> Dusty's got some work to do on some gates so that that doesn't happen again. But we'll all get it fixed and it'll all work out in the end. And uh, it was just... Kind of a fun day, really. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to go over there and check out Cross Timbers Bison. I know Dusty would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, on to the next adventure.